Hello, my name is Rebecca and welcome to my free little library vlog. I am currently in San Diego and when I was in LA I got this book from a free little library and it's not really doing it for me so I'm gonna trade this in, pick up another book, but just looking at some photos, free little libraries here look amazing there's a ton in san diego for some reason so i'm excited to show you guys around show you guys the free little libraries it's freezing here for san diego which means it's like 50 degrees so i might pick up a coffee i might pick up something warm because tomorrow it's gonna be like a rainstorm so there's nothing to do here I'm, i really want to get a book before that starts okay first one let's go very cute. Very cute little. Okay. A Reader's Digest. Very small. children or is this like a romance i think this is for no this is for children yeah i don't know who this is for <laughs> but okay um and mary king is back there too okay cool oh henry I just, oh, okay, Shakespeare. I thought I was like about the dude. It makes more sense. There we go. Okay, let's see. Uh, darkness in the hand. Okay, this is a little unorganized, but let's see. Seems like some religious text here. That is the cutest thing ever. If I had a, if I was younger or had a kid, Judy Moody. Okay, I don't know if I want to read that in public. Very cool. Chipmunks. Uh, that stopped very suddenly because the trash, the trash people were like picking up and I like actually had to move my car in that moment so I did not get anything there but this is the little library that like I am most excited about just based on like the visual of it oh my gosh this house has like a whale thing on it and I'm obsessed I'm obsessed with the houses here I'm in normal heights and it seems like a really nice place to live a lot of really like unique looking houses um, I also want to show you guys, I'm going to show you guys how 
like the storm is a coming and it's like kind of windy out so i'll show you guys this is where i'm at maybe it doesn't look as bad on camera but like usually typically san diego is so much nicer <laughs> weather than this look at that storm cloud oof uh i'm getting my book i'm gonna just make some coffee make some tea also i could not find parking at like two different par coffee shops so i haven't yet to get a warm drink but i might get a burrito instead i desperately want this whale for whenever i buy a house okay guys just look and it comes with this tiny little bench Oh my gosh, this is amazing in so many different ways. Okay, here's the bench. Amazing. Okay, if you're local in San Diego. All right, okay. Let's. Ooh. Okay, let's do it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um. Where should I start? I think, okay, all the little kid books are down here. And then more adult books are here. This looks kind of interesting. Oh. Okay, never mind. <laughs> all right. Okay, I actually love this as a teenager. I know people like, I thought it was good. As a teenager, I don't think I've read it since. This looks very dramatic. Another, what is going on here? You guys. Okay, let me check the other. Oh, it's cold. Okay, this one also has a key. That's kind of fun. There we go. Okay, guys. Um, Revelations. There's a lot of religious books in here. Okay. listen to this book so I would actually think this one I think I've already read it a little bit ago okay and I've read this one as well so or if you want Grace and Frankie okay cool and then here are look at this little boy he's so cute okay okay look how cute this is amazing and there's two oh more than two floors i guess these are huge chonka trunks okay let's try here inside <laughs> oh the omnivores i feel like there's something about this that it was like in a podcast or something and not in like a positive way um books will kill you i feel like it was in that one but maybe not red scarf girl Ooh. that looks kind of interesting Okay, I gave up. I got hungry, so I'm getting a California burrito. I'm gonna go back home and eat it, and then go back out there and look for more books. Um, I'm just hungry and I'm cold, so let's get a burrito. <laughs> I have not been 
haven't seen as many books. I think the quality of like the libraries themselves have been nicer here, but like the qualities of the books, not as nice. So I might not switch out the book I have at the moment. I'm going to one more and we'll see. And then I may or may not go to a bookstore. <laughs> um, even though that's not the point of this vlog. I do have a whale book that I could also read tonight. So I might not actually end up switching out my book. Um, but we have one more to see if San Diego will help me in any way. Here it is. It's very, very cute. Let's open up the lunch. More religious texts. Absolutely not. That obviously didn't go how I'd want it to, but it's very cute fun, but not a lot of books in there. There's a really cool bookstore close by, so I'm actually just gonna stop in there real quick. I think I'm gonna try to find a parking spot a little bit closer, just because the weather is just like not pleasant. Drive over there, see anything that's worth buying, or just to look at books in general. I, I enjoy a good bookstore. So, yeah. <laughs> anymore um, and when we get back I'll give you guys a little bit of a haul of what I got at the bookstore. He's poopy. He is so pretty. Let me open it. Give you guys a look. Bengal cats. Oh that's so cute. <laughs> Hello, I am back from breakfast with Chai. I did some work today, obviously changed, and I wanted to show you guys some of the books and things I bought from Verbatim Bookstores. Uh, bookstore? Okay, so the first book I got, I saw this book and I was like, this is on my Goodreads to read list. So like, I would recognize this cover anywhere. And this is The Bloody Chamber by Angelica Carter and this book is I started reading it. I read the first little story so it's a bunch of little stories 
and I read the first one and it's like the best kind of like women-centered baroque little gory a little bit like Rebecca um, kind of story it was great it was like just long enough to kind of engage me but like short enough that like I could read it in like one sitting and I'm not, I'm not like the fastest reader so that was great highly recommend if you like that kind of like kind of dark um, kind of stories the next one is this book which I thought was like what a great book to pick up when I've been looking up free little libraries all right so my battery died but I wanted to show you guys the other things I got at verbatim books and the loners is a story about a woman Laura who has a bicycle street library for like unhoused folks and this is a great little description of the back if you want to pause and read it but it's basically between goes between her perspective and this man she meets who's unhoused I believe he's a veteran his perspective his name is Ben I thought it would be it's just like such and obviously it was $15 I thought it was such a unique book that I picked it up and then I got this and I'm trying to make a gallery wall in the future and I'm just picking up little bits and pieces, little prints that I find. And this is of course Frog and Toad and it was a card, it was like a large card but I'm like I can just frame it, um, it works really well as a print. So that's what I got and I absolutely love this so much. I'm gonna like love looking at it on my wall in the future. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please comment if you've seen any books that you would have picked up, if you've been to Verbatim Books before, and please subscribe if you want to. Bye-bye.